Hello, my name is Anmol Malbi and currently I am pursuing my Masters in Data Science and Analytics from School of Data Science and Forecasting, DAVB. Presently, I am in th third semester and here I have performed Telco Customer Chain Analysis. In this project, I am pred uh, predicting customer churn is critical for telecommunication companies to be able to effectively retain customers. It is more costly to acquire new customers than to retain existing ones. For these reasons, large telecommunication corporations are seeking to develop models to predict which customers are more likely to change and take action accordingly. In this project, I have created a model to predict how likely a customer will churn by analyzing its characteristics in three parts. First is on the basis of demographic information. Second is account information and the third one is service information. The objective is to obtain a data driven solution that will allow us to reduce churn rate and as a consequence to increase customer satisfaction and corporation revenue. I have imported the data set from Kaggle and uh, it has 19 columns which are independent variables. So first after importing the library my first steps is importing the data set which I have done using pandas library and uh, stored it in a data frame. After it I have check, uh, checked for unique values in each column for which I have created a uh, for loop. Next I have performed exploratory data analysis and data cleaning in which firstly I have checked about the missing values and the uh, checked about the data set data types. So here we can see that uh, there are object uh, column which are object data type, integer data type, float data type. Here we can see that uh, there is a column called total charge which is of object data type but it shows the total amount which is associated to the customer so it must be in numerical format so we will convert it into numeric using pd dot to numeric function and then we have checked if there is any null value present in that column so we came across that there is no null value then i have removed the customer id column because it is useless uh, we don't need to do anything with the customer id so we have dropped use uh, that column using drop function after it we have checked the unique values in payment method column and uh, we don't have to do anything by the payment method name so we have dropped that column too after which I have moved toward feature engineering. Feature engineering is the process of extracting features from the data and transforming them into a format that is suitable for the machine learning model. So in this project, we need to transform both numerical and categorical variable and most uh, machine learning algorithm require numerical values. Therefore, all the categorical attributes available in the data set should be encoded into numerical levels before training the model and uh, during the analysis we came across that no modification is needed so first step we have done in feature engineering is level encoding so level encoding is used to replace categorical values with numerical values this encoding replace every category with a numerical level in this project we use this level encoding with the following binary variables which are genders partner dependents paperless billing phone service and churn so i have performed uh, level encoding here after which I have performed one out encoding one out encoding creates a new binary column for each level of the categorical variable the new column contains 0 and 1s indicating the absence or presence of the category in the data in this project we apply one out encoding to the following categorical variable which are as contract, payment method, multiple lines, internet service, online security, online backup and etc. So after the main drawback of uh, one out encoding is that significant increase in the dimensionality of the data set. Therefore this method should be avoided when the categorical column has a large number of unique values. After which I have performed normalization. 
data normalization is a common practice in machine learning which consists of transferring transforming numerical column to a common scale and in machine learning some features value differ from other multiple times so after performing the normalization i have set a baseline for the model and split the data in training and testing set i have selected the independent variable and dependent variable and by using tra uh, sklearn model selection we have imported train test split and splitted our data set into train training data and testing data so after which i have used various multiple or uh, algorithm to algorithm selection is a key challenge in any machine learning project since there is not an algorithm that is the best across all projects so generally we need to evaluate a set of potential candidate and select for further evaluation that provide better performance so here we have compared six different algorithm all of them already implemented implemented in scikit scikit learn so as shown below all models outperform the dummy classifier model in terms of prediction accuracy therefore we can affirm that machine learning is applicable to our problem because we observe an improvement over the baseline so uh, we have created use uh, various models here dummy classifier k and nearest neighbor logistic regression support vector machine random forest gradient boosting uh, these six we have created and after which we have tested the accuracy of each model so here we can see that the for dummy classifier mo model accuracy is 0.74 similarly for the others and uh, here we can see that the um, we have all trained all the algorithm using the default hyper uh, parameters so the accuracy of machine learning algorithm is highly sensitive to the hyper parameter choosing for the training model and as shown in this part we can see that uh, gradient boosting model has highest accuracy of uh, 0.796 which is nearly 80% so we will select the gradient boosting algorithm uh, gradient boosting is a very popular machine learning ensemble method based on a sequential training of multiple models to make prediction in gradient boosting first we will make a model using a random sample of original data and after fitting the model we make prediction and compute the residual of our model so we have performed uh, it using gradient boosting classifier and after it uh, we have find the combination of hyperparameter that leads to the best classification of our data and this process is called hyperparameter tuning so there are multiple techniques to find the best hyperparameter for a model and the most popular ones are grid search random search and bayesian optimization and here we will use random search we can implement random search in scikit-learn using the random search cb class from the sklearn dot model selection package so here we have performed random search and after fitting the grid object we can obtain the best hyperparameter using the best parameter attributes and after which we have we will check the performance of our model so it is the last step of the machine learning process to check the performance of model we will do it using confusion matrix and some evaluation matrices so the now, now that the model is trained it is time to evaluate its performance using the testing site first we use the previous model that is our gradient boosting classifier with best hyperparameters to predict the class level of the testing data then we construct the confusion matrix using the confusion matrix function from sklearn matrix package to check which observations were properly classified the output is a numpy array where the rows represent the true value and the column the predicted class so here so here we have used uh, random search to make the predictions and constructed the confusion matrix which is written a numpy array as a confusion matrix and in which we can see that 1402 observation of the testing data were correctly classified by the model in which 1154 are true negative and 248 are true positive on the contrary we can observe 356 misclassifications that are 156 false positive and 200 false negative
so we will check the accuracy it represents the proportion of uh, prediction that were correctly classified and accuracy is the most commonly used evaluation matrix however it is important to bear in mind that accuracy can be misleading when working with m balanced data set we can calculate the evaluation matrix manually using the number of confusion matrix alternatively scikit-learn has already implemented the function classification report that provide a summary of the key evaluation matrix so here we have printed our classification report and in which we can say that we obtain a sensitivity of 0.55 and a specificity of 0.88 so the model obtained predicts more accurately customers that do not churn this should not surprise at all since gradient boosting classifier are usually biased towards the classes with more observation and as you may have noticed the previous summary does not contain the accuracy of the classification however this can be easily calculated using the function accuracy score from the matrix module so we have uh, calculated the accuracy of the mod uh, model which is 0.7957 so as we can observe that hyperparameter tuning has barely increased the accuracy of the model as our gradient boosting classifier giving the accuracy of 0.794 approx 0.794 so in this project we have walked through a complete end-to-end -end machine learning project using the telco customer churn data set we started by cleaning the data and analyzing then to be able to build a machine learning model we transformed the categorical data into numerical value variable and after transforming the data we tried six different machine learning algorithm using default parameters and finally we tuned the hyper parameters of the gradient boosting classifier for model optimization obtaining an accuracy of nearly 80 percent 